the Zara leather blazer. Loved or hated? Hello there people, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. So I have just done the biggest closet clear out. It was like therapy to me. All these wardrobes are like really nice and clean and organized and, and perfect on the inside. Yes, I have felt like a very productive quarantined woman. However, the, the 18 bags that are downstairs filled with items that have labels on it, are screaming at me, filled with things that I don't like anymore, filled with things that were just a waste, a waste, okay? I'm not, I'm not proud, I'm not proud, okay? That I've made some very bad fashion decisions in the past, that I have picked up things and wasted my money on things that I don't need, I don't wear, they're just looking at me. This is not good. And so I wanted to do a video where I go through some of like the worst fashion and wardrobe mistakes that I've made, but I also wanna share some of the things that I've actually picked up of late that I do really, really like, that I haven't quite showed you. And yes, some of them are also trendy items, but I feel will stand the test of time. And I'm really excited because outside is about to be open. I've got some looks that I love, and now that I've got rid of all the junk. I feel like it's gonna be easier to style what I have, you know? Cause I'm very excited to be out in the open again. I will not be taking it for granted. Let's get into some good fashion decisions and a shout out to my sponsors, Lily Silk, who have the most amazing mulberry silk items. I've talked about them before. They have silk that is the high quality, not that polyester. I get my pillowcases from there, my bed sheets from there, my bonnets from there, my clothing from there, and yes, this blazer is from them as well. If you use the code PB12, you can get 12% off. Again, they've got some really, really high quality items. I've added some to my closet that I absolutely love. If you are in the market for them, yeah, now is the time. And I, th I think they may still have a couple of Black Friday deals on as well. So this is the jacket I got. Who doesn't love a black blazer? Who does not love a black fitted blazer? But why I really like this one and why it's different to my other ones is because of the buttons. It's the buttons for me. I found that I love to find pieces that are a little bit different. They're like basic, but they've got a little je ne sais quoi to them. This black blazer, look at the shape of it. It is from Lily Silk. It's such a great fit. Such a great fit. Like, mm, booty looks good in this blazer. Again, I feel like you could wear this for brunch, for work for lunch, for dinner. This one, and I also have a gray. Like, look at this. When you have a good blazer put together, and when I cleared out my closet, I realized that the one thing I really liked having was different styles of blazer, because I can wear them anyhow, anytime, and I live, live, live for them. This is from Lily Silk as well. Why does it hit? Why is it such quality? Why does it go in and out? Why does it give me a waist where there is none? My best closet decisions are getting good fitting blazers and jackets. They make me happy. Now, another really good decision I have made is a chunky boot. Yes, I have the Prada chunky boots. And I know a lot of people have them. I know these are loved or hated. I was meant to do an unboxing and I didn't get to do it because I've been wearing them. I wore them almost the same day I got them and I love how they look with everything. Like I can wear a blazer and a look like this and then put chunky boots on like this and still feel amazing. These are a trend that I'm really happy to have bought into because I can see me wearing these every single winter, every single autumn, because I love a chunky combat boot. They never go out of style and I think these ones are sick. This is a trend that I'm here for that I super, super duper love because I feel like it suits me and I feel like it suits a lot of people. Another good purchase, it is a jumper like this with the long sleeves. This I just also got from Lily Silk. I love it, I love it along with these pants that I picked up which have a flare. These are so great. Again, this material is so soft and I feel like a nice sweat like this I can wear with anything at any time. I can wear it with joggers, I can wear it with smart trousers, I can wear it with a blazer on top of it, and it just works. There's something about a beautifully textured top that I'm so proud of purchasing. <laughs> Not that you need to be prideful in a purchase, but this is a good buy. Just look at it, it's so beautiful. I love this color as well. I think it might be one of the nicest like casual knit tops that I have in my closet. Oh, and then I picked up these trousers. 
recently. They are a flare kind of trouser in a faux leather. Now, I have a feeling that I may regret this at some point in time because they are a trend, but I love it. I'm here for it. I like them. And you know what? I have a duplicate of these. I do have a very, very similar trouser style, but I like it. But this is a new purchase that I'm happy with. This dress, <laughs> this was a dress that I picked up from Lily Silk as a post quarantine dress. Cause once outside is completely open, I really feel like I'm ready to make, make that effort to really show up. I love a dress like this. I feel like this is a great purchase for me because I feel like a really nice silk dress always looks good, always looks put together. Like, look at this dress. Look at the figure it gives. I love this. I love the shape. I love everything about it. I love the color. I don't have enough blue in my wardrobe. That's what I realized that blue is a color I used to run away from, but I need it. And this dress, Lee Silk, listen, PB12, get that discount. Then another trendy item that you might, guys might have seen that I also did get that I really like is is the Balenciaga bag, but I got it in the white, so I've seen the black with the gold. I've also seen the tan with the gold, which I really, really like, but I decided not to get a black bag and not to get a tan bag. And the reason why I decided to do that is because guess what? I got so many black bags and so many tan bags. And this is why I think I've made a really good trend buying decision, that if I wanted the trend, let me get it in the color of a bag that I don't have. I don't really have a smallish white bag. So I was like, okay, let's get it. Post lockdown, one night out, this is gonna be me. So, so good, I bought it twice. I had to get another one of these silky dresses. There's something about them that I really, really like. It's giving me like Halle Berry in the like early 2000s. I love how they fit, I love how they look. And the thing about these Lily Silk dresses is that they're just such a good quality. It's a much thicker silk. You can't see any lumps or bumps or anything underneath. All it does is frame the body really, really nicely. And these look so good like on a night out. Oh. Okay, look at this jumper. Look at the sleeves. Oh, great purchase, great winter purchase. I realized I didn't have like a nice big, like cozy sweatshirt with the long sleeves. This one is from ASOS, which I love. I bought it earlier on this year. I also bought these wide length pants that I feel like they have been a really good addition to my wardrobe because my whole wardrobe has been skinny jeans for the longest. And like, yeah, that's over. Like, like it's done. We don't need skinny jeans every single day. Sometimes let the thigh not chafe as much. This is a good purchase. And this is a great outfit, actually. I love this. See, I haven't had the chance to go out as much and wear the outfits that I want. But since I cleared up my closet, I actually found some of the pieces that I've bought from like earlier on. I'm like, oh, love this piece. Need to wear this. Love this as a look. Here we are. And my favorite thing in my wardrobe and a situation is like my classic combination, which is blue, white, and black. It always looks good. The Zara leather blazer. This was a great, 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 great purchase. If you got your hands on it, if you didn't, I'm sorry for you. Great, great jacket that I'm really happy with. I will wear a big jumper underneath it. I will layer it up and put it on, on the outside and it just looks so good. Like, you know, I know what I like. I know what I like now. Like, look, it's, it's done, it's put together. We've arrived, we've arrived comfortably. <laughs> I keep sleeping. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Look at this dress. I picked this up on ASOS. I love it. And I bought a shirt dress earlier on this year in white that I, it felt fit like a glove. It looked so nice on. I liked how I felt. I wanted to find it in black and I found a very similar one here. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. This is actually what I'm gonna wear today. I'm loving this. So yeah, when I saw this, I saw the fit. It actually fits me better than the other one because the other one I was a little bit thick. A little thick, you know. <laughs> the buttons were slightly popping. But when I saw this one, I was like, okay, this is this is a whole me. This is a whole me and I live for it. Okay, so let us get into the mistakes. And these are based on some of the things that I've seen in my closet since my clear out. I have to show you the bags. One of the big mistakes for me, and I'm gonna combine this. This is two mistakes here. For me, it's the crop. It's the, the excessive amount of crop. I don't like showing my stomach. And I keep buying all this crop top stuff. 
and I never end up wearing it because I never feel quite comfortable in wearing a crop that's all the way up to my boob. So I have these beautiful crop tops that I feel are gonna suit everybody and their dog, but not me. And I buy them because I think they look cute, but then I'm like, no, it's not cute. It's definitely not cute on you. And for instance, another mistake I have is clothing with the label on it. It's still here, the label's still on, it's never been worn, I paid full price for it, and it's just there. It's looking at me in my closet, being rude, it's offensive, it is telling me about the bad decisions that I have made. And I think fundamentally, this is not about it just being cro uh, the crop, it's actually, about, it's actually the point of buying certain styles that are trendy and work for everybody else, but don't necessarily work for you where you are in your life. And for me right now, I don't want to be wearing crop, okay? <laughs> I really don't. Maybe later on, but I know for a fact, I just don't feel that comfortable in it. So why do I keep buying it? Stop buying the stuff that you don't feel comfortable wearing. That is a huge, big wardrobe and clothing mistake. <laughs> this is a big old clothing mistake, not because there's anything wrong with the item. It's the sentiment around it. It's the I'll fit into it again sentiment, okay? This dress has been lollygaggling in my, and I don't even know if that's a real word, but it's been lollygaggling in my wardrobe because I assume that one day I'll be able to fit back into this itty bitty dress. <laughs> like, no, don't worry, I'll fit into it. I'll squeeze into it. And to be honest, I slightly can. I slightly can if I haven't had a meal, if I drink my water and if it's like 5 a.m. I can slightly fit into this. However, I think this is the principle of having clothing in your wardrobe, which is about, well, one day, well, one day, well, one day, well, one day. Like that one day may never come. Don't buy things based on a dream. Well, in my opinion, don't do it based on a dream or based on a particular target. If you're gonna buy clothing or have things that you wanna wear, wear them because you're like, I wanna wear this now. The best type of clothing is the clothing that you put on straight away. The shoes that you put on straight away, you wear them and you love them. You feel good about it. Not the ones that are just sitting there pontificating and looking at you. No, this dress has been looking at me for four years. It's been worn one time in four years. One time. One time. It's gotta go. A wardrobe mistake I don't do anymore is purchasing items by size. I do not look at a size label that much anymore. It's not about the size, it's about the fit. I don't know whether I'm a size eight, if I'm a size 10, if I'm a size 12 or a size six. I don't know what size I am anymore, but when I put the item on, how does it fit on? Is it fitting correctly or is it not fitting correctly? I think a lot of us think and assume that, you know, you have to wear your size. Like, I don't think that is the case. So for me personally, I really try to opt for um, not looking at size labels and just looking at what looks good when it's on. <laughs> And worse for me is not the fact that these shoes to me are hella ugly and hella clunky, is that I bought them on a whim. And I bought them on a whim because I had another pair of shoes on that were uncomfortable and I was like, I just need to get some other shoes on that I can wear comfortably. And I decided to pick up these hot messes because they were the cheapest shoes that I could find. Oh my gosh. And it was just a waste of money. They'd been in the closet. They're actually breaking my wrist. They're so heavy, but I bought them because they were cheapish, but I think I spent like 30 quid on these. And it's cause the shoes I was walking outside in were uncomfortable. I couldn't rock, my ankles were not having it. And so I ended up getting these. No, 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 don't buy items on a whim. Handle it if you can handle it. And But to be honest, I have bought I shoes on a whim. Like I bought some tennis shoes on a whim again because I had high heels on and I was like, my feet are hurting. So I bought a new pair of shoes. That's a lesson. Carry spare comfortable shoes in your bag if you can, so, they, so that you don't have to buy clunky shoes like this. But yeah, buying things on a whim is not something that I do. I like to try and give myself like a little bit of breathing room and ask myself the question, do I need this, do I want this? <laughs> this here is about buying items that are not my style. I wanted to try something that I saw on someone and I was like, this isn't really my style. Um, maybe I'll wear it. Um, maybe a special occasion will come up. Maybe I'll put this one sleeve frou-frou top on, maybe. 
it never happened. It never happened. It never will happen. And this is the thing, when you buy items that aren't your style, that don't work, you see them on something else, it just becomes a huge mistake. And again, that's the same when it comes to trends, it comes with items that maybe a celebrity or an influencer endorses. Just look at it. Ask yourself, is this gonna work on me? And I think if you honestly ask yourself, you'll be like, nah, nah, it's not having it, it's not working. Nah, not, not that situation. So yeah, this has sat in my wardrobe for probably two years and it's now left. I've accepted it goes in the pile of things that have got to die from my closet. Ah! <laughs> I really thought I was being fashion forward with these. I really thought I was doing something. I really thought, I mean, in hindsight, they're kind of cute, but again, they're not my style. This was me trying too hard, trying to be like, oh my gosh, it's fashion week. Let me get something that's like strong. Let me get something that's bright. <laughs> Let me get something that's gonna really get people talking. That's the dumbest thing I've ever done. They're so ugly. They're so ugly. But you know what? Some people may say that like some fashion is ugly. These are just ugly, ugly. These aren't even fashion ugly. These are ugly, ugly. Who the hell would wear these? Ooh! Don't make it be like a worse fashion mistake and something you don't even like. You just wore because you wanted attention. Okay guys, that is it for me. I wanted to share some of my best and worst fashion purchases and some of my like wardrobe mistakes now that I've had a closet clear out. I feel like I know exactly what I like guys. And I feel like I say this all the time, but this will be my last closet clear out. And I'm really excited by, you know, what I'm gonna wear when outside opens because I feel like I just wanna enjoy it a little bit more. And in the meantime, I will catch you all later. Bye.